Hey, what's up, Zach here. And today I have got the all new New Balance CT Rally. This is kind of like the update on the New Balance Fresh Foam Lav V2 with an updated upper system and just kind of an overall a little bit more fast and sleek design according to New Balance. Now, a lot of the bones of the CT Rally are, are borrowed or I should say kind of built upon the Fresh Foam Lav line. But uh, the, with the uppers in these, I think that they're, they're trying to make these a little bit more of a speed shoe kind of like the CG1996 but also that maximalist base so let's see what they can do now the uppers of the CT rally a lot different than the fresh foam lab v2 they're a lot lighter a little more beefed up medial side if you look at it it's got undulating rubber pieces or like rubber TPU pieces coming all the way almost meeting the lace line and that lace line is like quasi integrated outrigger they are technically an outrigger lace but it is very tight within the shoe so you are actually getting a pretty decent lockdown for a shoe that does have those outrigger eyelets um, I noticed because they do have a runner's knot you can suck down the back of the CT rally so these things aren't really gonna have any heel slipping issues as long as you're using that runner's knot and if you look at the breathing cable Abilities of those uppers, they only heated up 94.9 degrees, cooled down another 40.2 degrees. And you know, for an upper that actually feels pretty substantial on foot, like I said, there just is so many like breathing channels, especially right here at the tip of the toe. And remember, the heat gun goes in there, and that's like right where the tip of the heat gun will actually go. So I think maybe that's why these did so well in the breathability test, just because they've, they've got the, the cutouts just right where that airflow would go. So maybe a little bit of home cooking in these, but because again, just the anatomy of the uppers but still if you're producing a lot of heat there is enough ventilation in them to take care of it. I think the most interesting update from the lav v2 to the ct rally comes in the external heel counter now on the lav v2 it was one just big slab of tp or plastic which I liked however on the ct rally it's almost like a king's crown or a queen's crown in the back that does save a lot of weight but since it does go around the entire shoe it does go up pretty high in the middle it still retains all of that stability so a little bit less weight in the uppers but you're not sacrificing sacrificing any of that rear foot stability uh, in the CT Rally too. And on the upper durability test, 10 seconds high grit sandpaper. I mean, yeah, because that drag guard is just so thick and robust. I mean, the burr makes a little bit of an impression on it, but not much. I mean, so if you're a dragger or slider of any kind, these really should last you for the long haul. Now, looking at the midsole teardown of the CT Rally, it is the same as the Fresh Foam Lab V2. Yes, I had these from about a year and a half ago and I brought them to the courts, but it is an entire bed of Fresh Foam X which are, are those molecules of foam that have concave and convex sides. So the shoe's gonna give you more rebound in multiple directions. That's why it's so good for a sport like tennis or pickleball, where you're moving side to side, one direction or the other, not necessarily up and down or just, you know, north to south, east to west, kind of all those degrees in between, you can still get a lot of bounce and just a lot of responsiveness, really no matter what direction and kind of what part of the shoe is contacting ground. And looking at that Fresh Foam X on the bounce height test, got an average of 34.75 five centimeters, which it, to me, I think is pretty good for just the nature of Fresh Foam X. It is not the most elite bounce height out there, but it, given how well it does absorb shock and how fresh it does keep your foot, still a pretty decent response. Now the outsole tread of the CT Rally, a lot like the midsole, it's brought over from the Lav V2, is that real wavy herringbone. However, it is pretty wide set as well as pretty shallow. So if you do want to grab grip, you know, you can put some weight onto these and you will grip into that hard court, even if it's a pretty painted slick court. And if you want to slide, take a little bit of that weight off and these will slide pretty easily, quite like the Lav V2 did. So I would say really anybody that's wanting to use these for pretty much any type of footwork, whether it be racing to the net for a serve and volley, baseline retriever, someone likes to slide into every shot, they're gonna have you covered. I have had a lot of people tell me they have had luck with these on clay courts. I've found on very well-maintained clay courts, this outsole tread works well. If it starts to get pretty dry or slippery or the clay starts to get really heavy and bogged down, you're just gonna want something with deeper treads. And looking at the speed ratio of the CT Rally comes in at a 2.31, which is pretty good considering just how substantial the shoe is and just how side to side stable the shoe is, how protective it is underfoot. So I, you know, like we'll talk about in the playability section, the performance section, um, I, I do think this does marry the best aspects of 
you know, protection as well as performance. But getting into the fit of the CT Rally, you know, a lot like the Fresh Foam Lab V2, all like most other New Balance shoes, if you can get it in a width, you just go with your standard size and whatever width you are. Narrow, medium, you go with the D, 2E, you go with the 2E, 4E, you go with the 4E. I will say if you just want to get the D width, if you are a 2E foot, you might want to consider going up a half size. You can go true to size, just got to break it in a little bit if you're at that D width, but that's the nice thing about a lot of New Balance shoes, just get them in widths. Now for the snake bitten foot, remember the shank on the CT Rally is not the thickest thing out there. Fresh foam is really forgiving, but if you are somebody with you know, really bad overpronation, kind of more of an unstable flat foot, hypermobile flat foot, probably want to throw you know an, even just a low profile orthotic in there and that really takes it up a notch. Ball of foot pain, like bursitis, things like that. The, the CT Rally, really anything with fresh foam X in it is going to be you know just some of the more forgiving foams out there. So I would just say if it's anything more hypermobile or more strain throw the orthotic in there if it's more just kind of blunt type issues like you know like a bursitis or a hot spot they should be just fine on their own and getting into the all important you know playability of the ct rally you know like plays a lot like the lav v2 it's a super speedy shoe for a more maximalist product and if you have even like i said a low profile orthotic like I just said in the fit section these become an uber maximalist uber protective shoe but also a very speedy shoe i know for me personally the lav v2 and now the ct rally are some of my favorite favorite personal shoes because you know I have a little bit more of a higher arch foot my every one of my footsteps is just a little bit more forceful than you know somebody else because of my really high arch so I personally really gravitate toward the fresh foam line just because they're so forgiving for a foot type like mine so if you're someone that has you know pretty lumbering footsteps someone that puts a lot of force into your shoe and wants something still pretty speedy the lav v2 is really where it's at I know these are you know a real favorite among a lot of tour players too because they're putting a lot of force in their shoes because their footwork is so good and they're playing so hard not just you know an overweight wannabe ex-college player like I am but they're actually putting force into their shoes from just playing so hard and that's why this is such a favorite shoe on tour and you know just look at the ATP or WTA and, and you'll see it so I, I would say you know anything from a serve and volleyer to a baseline grinder will like these if you want a shoe that's a little bit more on the maximalist end underfoot but a little bit more speedy for you know like I said a little bit more of those extended rallies or extended matches so I, you know, like I said just like the Lav V2 one of like my personal favorites but you really do have to be that kind of player that is putting a lot of force into the shoe to really extract all the benefits out of it. Either number one being, you know, like I said, overweight or a little bit more lumbering like me or someone who is playing extremely hard and putting a ton of force, especially someone that's playing very high level doubles, I think can find a really good friend in these just because coming down off a big serve and then barreling toward the net, putting all that force under the ball of your foot. I think these are just, you know, the perfect thing for. So, you know, like I said, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the CT rally. Are you looking to upgrade? from the Lav V2, do you kind of like what New Balance is doing, kind of keeping some of the best bones of their older lines, putting them in new ones, uh, as opposed to like completely changing the lineup? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to see another sibling to the Fresh Foam Lav, or no, not the Fresh Foam Lav, the CT Rally, if you want to see another sibling to the CT Rally, the New Balance Coco CG1 go under the knife, make sure you click into this video up above and subscribe down below. Respect your rubber and foam, and I'll see you somewhere in the sneakerverse. Okay no, but to, they're, they're okay to school around. Yeah, I mean they're lightweight, foamy shoes. Oh, they're nice to walk around in. Alright, how am I gonna do this? Um